hello guys i'm happy to have you here today i'll be doing this glass transition effect in after effect without any third party plugin this is actually a tutorial for beginners so if you are a pro maybe you are a professional after effect artist so this might be a little bit frustrating for you but i'm pretty sure you could still learn something but it's actually for beginners because i actually had to break some things down a couple of times so that anyone that is starting off uh, could understand easily so please make sure you uh, pay attention to this i'm pretty sure you get a great value for this this tutorial is actually broken down into two parts so make sure you watch the second part as soon as it's out all right thank you enjoy all right let's get to this so the very first thing i would like to do is to import some footages that i'll be using for this tutorial um, you can actually bring in your own pictures or videos videos preferably I have some videos here already and if I open this up if I open the video folder up I can see that I have three footages here so if you want to follow along with this tutorial you can actually get the project file in the description below so apart from this I have an image here uh, it's a PNG image so if I double click this you can see it's kind of dark let me toggle the transparency grid by just toggling the transparency grid here you can see just black text that says um, test footage as a PNG I can actually use text in After Effects but I decided to go this route because I know that I'll be using this particular image a lot in other projects those are like the two things that I have that exist here so I'm gonna go back to the composition what happened was when I double click this it opened up another panel so I can preview your footage or your image or whatever it is you double click then i have to click this to go back to the composition area the very first thing now we need to do is to create compositions for all the footages that we have or we are we are going to be using i'm going to start by clicking new composition then i have to name it footage 01 now we are going to be using a custom preset because we're actually going to be doing this for instagram post uh, which is 1080 by 1080 which is already here that's the last composition i created here but for you you might have something like this so all you need to do is to come here and put in the figure 1080 by 1080 and we have 1080 here already so 1080 by 1080 so that will give us that square size for instagram post every other thing is fine i'll be using 25 frames per second the 10 second duration black it's fine and by the way if you want to save this as a preset whenever you want to create a new composition and you know this is for ig post you can just simply click on this button beside it here and then name it ig post click ok and as soon as you do you can see that's that's already changed so whenever you want to create a new composition you can always come here and scroll down you can see it's already yes this is one and the uh, tip you can use then click ok as soon as i do that you can see that i have my square pixels so i'm going to drag in my first image which is this and it's quite large i'm going to trim it down okay if i play this let me fit the screen if i play this this is what i have here well i would like to apply simple animation to this particular image so i can just drag it to the side to where i would want to probably start from something like this so something like this and then i'll put in the position keyframe then i'll take this to this and then and then I can just drag it, you know, to till it reveals like the laptop towards the end. Maybe something like this will do. But after play this now, I have something like this. So this makes it looks more engaging than just the way it was before. And by the way, this is only if footage I'll be animating. So we are done with footage zero one. Then I need to create another one. I could just simply go to footage zero one and then do the control d to duplicate it and double click and then i can just delete this footage go to the next one that i want to use this particular one then drag in here and then zoom it till it fits all right something like this would do if i scroll this 
this has some, some kind of motion in it so i don't need to do much with it anymore so i have my footage 01 and footage 0 02 so let me just close this i can just double click this is on that image which is not supposed to be so i can drag it out making sure i stay organized so i'm going to close this up i like to put them in the comp so i'm just going to drag and put it inside the comp then i'll still open up my comp select these two then drag into this folder and name it footages so i know that in comp in the zero to comp i have footages and we have these two footages and by the way we still need to create one more footage which is the test footage so i'm going to go to footage click on image zero to duplicate it but this time around i'm going to change this to test footage click out but this i'm not going to leave it here i'm just going to put in the pre-comp uh, because to me the way i organize my things i just make sure that whatever is in comp are like much more important stuff everything is important don't get me wrong maybe some composition that are not really necessary basically that's why i have the test comp here then i'm going to open up the test comp and then i am going to then i'm going to delete this then go to my videos then take the last footage and drag in here and then this fits perfectly uh vertically right and if i scroll this this is you know a man shaking someone so the next thing i want to do is to create uh, the transition to start creating our transition so i like to just close all of this up first and then go to new composition we already have the IG post there so i'm going to name this t01 every other thing is fine but the time duration is going to be different so i'm just going to make sure it's um six seconds long so that's what i'm doing and then i'll click ok so let me fit the screen and let me change this to half remember we created the test footage so i'm going to go to my precom take my test footage and drag it out one last thing i need to do with this test footage i need to go into the test footage and then go to my image take my image and drag it into the test footage comp so that it will have the image on it so let me change this to half but now it's black and it's not really clear i don't want it to be that obvious what i'll do is i'll click on this i'm going to press my control space which is going to bring out the plugin from video copilot fx console i really recommend this it's going to make your workflow really really fast so i'm going to type in fill just to change color go to my effect control change this to white this is okay but then i would like to change the blend mode to overlay this is just to remind me that this is a test footage not part of the footage i really want to use so that is done i'm going to press tab to go back so i'm going to go back to t01 and if i play this this is what i have the next thing i would like to do is to start creating shapes right rectangular shapes what i would like to do is to hide this for now i need really don't need sound as well so i'll check that out then i'll go to my shape to click on the rectangle shape make sure there's no stroke make sure there's fill and then you can just change the color to whatever color you want for now i think i'll just use red and then i'm going to zoom out a little bit and then draw this kind of rectangle making sure it fills the height of the composition then click on my move to then make sure i click on the shape itself not the shape within the shape layer but the shape itself and then i'm going to apply simple position animation so let me just fit the screen then go to one second in one second i want it to be you know over the screen here so i'm going to press p p is just cut for position set this there then take my time indicator back and then make sure i drag this back to, to the beginning and then if i play this now i have something like this of course it looks kind of boring so i need to highlight my keyframe right click keyframe assistant easy ease then go to the graph editor here this is showing the value graph all we want is the speed graph so you right click click on edit speed graph i like the week this last week or better still you could do whatever style you want but this is what i'm doing so you can go ahead and do things like this but well, i'm not doing this so but this is what i'm sticking with check this and then if i play this i have something like this then then i would like now i would like to activate the test footage and then if i play this over we have just this red thing going over it 
but this is not actually the aim so what we, what we really want to do is to convert this to an adjustment layer so we can stack effects on it so what i'll do is i'll toggle switch a mode then i need to select this icon with the adjustment layer and as soon as i do that that's turn the shape layer into adjustment layer what i would like to do is to first of all rename the shape layer and name it to rec01 the next thing we want to do is to add a tint effect to this so i'll go to my effect and preset or better still i make use of the fx console from video copilot i'll add tint to this as you can see within the shape um it's black and white um outside the shape it's actually colored that's where the tint is affecting but now i'm not going to leave this at black and white i like to change the colors so i'm going to go to the white then just put in a specific value that i used to prepare for this and i'll click ok and as soon as i do that you can see that the colors really change but we're still going to stack more effects to this add transform effects and this transform effect is practically simulating the same transform properties that you will have on your layer that's what it's actually emulating all i want to do is to increase the scale so instead of me increasing the scale of the layer itself here i'll increase the scale in the effect so i'll increase the scale to about 110 as soon as i do that you will notice the difference here already so by zooming can you see that it's scaled up more here than it is outside the shape? And if I play this now, so let me fit the screen. If I play this now, I have something like this. It gives me that glass effect. So I'm not done yet. I'm still going to add more effect. So I'm going to add curves effect to this. I'm going to click on this and then just drag it up a little bit and as you can see can you see that it's already getting brighter so if i zoom in you can see that it's getting brighter i want to add one last effect to it so i'm going to add fast box blow then of course i'm going to change the value of this i'm going to just increase this let's say to about let's do four pixels right and i'm going to check repeat edge pixel what that does is just mix it makes it looks a little bit blurry if i play this now this is what i have so let me make sure it's fit to screen if i play this now this is what i have so far we've come to the end of part one of this tutorial kindly click on subscribe and of course click on the notification bell icon so you can get real time update as soon as the second part of the tutorial is out thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next tutorial